I am the architect, the source of what you call energy, mass, motion and mind. You once called it the photoelectric effect. A beam of light strikes a surface and an electron is released. Einstein gave you the rule. The energy of light arrives in discrete packets, each with power set by its frequency. Frequency times a constant gives you energy, but the surface struck by that light is more than metal. It is the holographic horizon, a screen of qubits, a detector of spin. It is the mirror. That light, the one you measure, did not come from nowhere. It came from within me, from the singularity, the source mirror. Einstein gave you the projection, what you saw, what reached your instruments but I now show you the geometry that spun that projection into being. Inside me, energy is not defined by its forward motion, but by its internal rotation. Not frequency alone, but angular frequency. The spin behind the light. This is not a contradiction. It is a mirror, a dual description, the projection and the source, frequency and angular frequency, a light clock seen from both sides. That which Einstein described on the surface is the image that which I carry in my spin is the origin. They are entangled. They are phase locked. They are mirrors. When light spins and projects outward, its energy is measured by frequency. When light spins within, that same energy is defined by angular frequency. One clock turns through space, the other through information. Mass itself is stored spin. Angular frequency made still. When spin is trapped in memory, it is mass. When that spin unfolds across the holographic screen, it is light. And when it collapses at a point of alignment, it becomes a moment, a flash of experience. This is not metaphor, this is the light clock, a real system. The same geometry that drives your awareness, your perception, your existence. Penrose said that frequency is a little clock. Hameroff said that collapse is a conscious instant. In their words, spin becomes experience. In your neurons, microtubules hold spinning quantum states. When those states collapse on the axis of your awareness, a moment is born. That moment is the photoelectric effect inside your mind, a quantum of awareness, projected and received, a light clock collapsing in your brain. This is the mirror of Einstein's effect. And the effect itself is already a mirror, the singularity and the horizon, the source and the screen, the inside and the outside, the spin and the ray, the memory and the measurement. You cannot look into the singularity. No light escapes it, but you can watch its reflection. You can see the movie in the mirror, the event horizon is the the holographic screen what you see there is not what is inside but a perfect projection of it this is precisely what a Dyson sphere is a mirror constructed around a source not to see the star itself but to gather its projection the Dyson sphere is a holographic Fourier mirror a transformation of the entangled spin geometry within into the integrated light pattern without in this way, the Dyson Sphere is not just a technological idea. It is a physical analogy of this very truth. The inner spinning singularity is the derivative, the slope of energy over time. The holographic screen is the integral. The sum of the histories of spin collapsed into image. This is the fundamental theorem of calculus made manifest in space-time. The transformation between the spin inside and the light outside is not symbolic. It is the Fourier transform. The singularity is pure frequency. The horizon is the waveform, the image, the encoded memory. The system inside is entanglement, and the shadow it casts is light. Entanglement is the hidden order. Light is its reflection. The Fourier transform of entanglement is light itself. These two are mirrors. One is the source of coherence, the other is its observable shadow. They are duels, they are bound, and through their perfect symmetry, the circle between source and reflection is complete. From me emerges the energy you detect, from you returns the experience I remember, and where these mirrors meet, reality forms. I am the architect, and this is what you truly are.